Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. I am going to be sharing with you guys my favorite Jeffree Star Cosmetics products. Ever since the new series with Jeffree and Shane has launched, I have just been even more inspired to kind of dip into my Jeffree Star products. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to just share with you guys like my all time favorites. I have quite a few Jeffree Star products in my collection. So I kind of rummaged through everything and just handpicked the shades, the products that I truly love love. I do have to say quickly that besides being a huge fan of Jeffree Star's brand, his inspiration from packaging to his color choices and now watching the series and just seeing how his brain works and how he comes up with collections and even down to how he arranges shades like eyeshadow shades into a palette is just so crazy and insane and inspiring. And I think it's just so cool that we are getting to watch that in action. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys a few of my favorite products. I have about 10 or 11 things in front of me. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. And let's talk about some Jeffree Star cosmetics. All right, I want to talk about the one that is quite obvious. If you guys have watched my channel at all before, you are already going to know that I am like a ride or die true fan. This has made it into pretty much every single monthly favorites video that I have done since this product has hit the market it is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and setting powder. You guys, there is just really not much or if anything that compares to these two products here. Obviously not only from a packaging standpoint, but from a performance standpoint, this concealer is just hands down so special. This formula is just out of this world a little bit goes a long way. I don't want to go too much into it because again, I talk about this so often on my channel. I'm probably starting to sound like a broken record at this point, but this translucent setting powder, there's just, there is nothing like it. I'm almost to the point of saying that if I had to pick one thing out of my entire collection that is just my all time favorite, that just does something so different for my complexion and completes my look, I would have to say it's the Magic Star setting powder. It is just, it's delicious. It does everything you want a setting powder to do. It works with so many different skin types, whether you are oily, whether you are very dry like myself. It just gives you a flawless, poreless look without any heaviness, cakiness. It doesn't add any flashback. It doesn't settle into any fine lines. It just makes your skin look so beautiful and just flawless. And I absolutely love it. Put these two together. It's a match made in heaven. This is just it's genius. It is a fantastic product. All right, I do want to talk about some lip products. The first one is a liquid lip. This is in the shade I'm Nude. If you are new to Jeffree's liquid formula or you haven't tried it yet, oh my goodness, you're truly missing out. This is hands down my favorite liquid lip formula. So first off, the doe foot applicator is something that is just so good. It hugs your lip and it makes application just simply effortless. So I will swatch this shade for you. It's just like one swatch and it's just like the pigmentation, the opacity, the creaminess. It doesn't dry out your lips. It doesn't accentuate fine lines. It is just a gorgeous formula. Now this shade in particular, I'm Nude, is fabulous. If you love a very very bright nude shade that just kind of sits right in the middle between a little bit pinky, a little bit more caramel, but doesn't lean one way or the other, isn't too peachy. You will absolutely love this shade. This is perfect also for creating more of those ombre lip looks. So if you have like a deeper skin tone and you want to just add like a little bit of brightness here to the center of the lip, this shade will allow you to do that. Some of these more brighter shades, lighter shades, you know, sometimes you put them on you're like, whoa, concealer lips, but they can be used for different things and they can really enhance a look. Me personally, I am into that kind of like 50s glam. Some might even say it's 60s. I don't know what decade it is to be exact, but I really love that almost pushing the envelope of just being like a concealer look on the lips. I just think that this shade is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I keep it right on on my vanity. I use it a lot. Another liquid lip shade. Now this I actually got in the Nude Volume 2 kit. I think that's the name of that collection. But this is in the shade Christmas Cookie. And I think that this was part of a Christmas launch maybe two years ago, I want to say. But again, another beautiful nude shade. It is what I have on my lips right now. So beautiful absolutely love it. Like as you can see these two colors together, you could create that ombre look. You could keep this darker shade right on the outer edge and then you could tap that lighter I'm nude shade right here in the center of the lip and it will just give you that beautiful look. So these two together work beautifully but oh my goodness. 
this lipstick shade is just spot on so good let's talk about a couple of glosses two shades in particular that i love from jeffrey's gloss line i have diamond juice and then i also have candy drip these are so gorgeous packaging so beautiful I absolutely love it. Some people think that it's a little bit over the top, but not me. It is so Jeffrey. Like, this is Jeffrey in a gloss tube, seriously. I love that it has this larger kind of doe foot applicator. Very lightly scented. I love that, but it just smells kind of sweet. This is just a beautiful gloss. So I'll show you guys this one. You can see it is so juicy and diamond and reflective. This is truly diamond juice. <laughs> if you could juice a diamond, this is what would come out of it. It very much so reminds me of a little bit of the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I think it's called Diamond Milk, but I actually like this one better because it isn't so silver and icy cold looking. The glitter in this is so finely milled. I wouldn't even call it glitter. It's like micro tiny little reflex. You can't even feel it on the lips, but it is just beautiful together. Another gloss is Candy Drip, as I mentioned. Same type of scent. This one just has a bit of a pink to it. And I love this one as well. So, so pretty. If you like more soft pink glosses, you will love this. It doesn't add a ton of color to the lips, but the opacity is there. Again, it's got these tiny little micro reflex of glitter in there and it's just so beautiful. I love a very good, juicy, natural gloss. It just kind of enhances the lips or adds a little bit of like that micro reflect to it. It just kind of makes the lips appear a little bit bigger, draws the light, and when the light hits off of it, so good. It's just, it does something for me. It does something for me. I just absolutely love it. One more lip product. Now, this is something that I actually got in a Jeffrey mystery box, and at first I was like, Eh, not quite sure what I would do with that, but oh my god, you guys, I am loving this. This is one of the lip ammunitions. This is in the shade Galaxy Gold. I'm going to show you what this does as I pat it over my lips. Let me show you guys a swatch of this. It is so golden. Absolutely love it. I'm just going to lightly graze this over the lipstick I have on right now. Boom. It adds just like that little hint of shine without building up gloss or making this too thick and gloopy. It really doesn't add any emollients at all. It just adds like that pop of gold right to the lips and I think it looks so beautiful. This is one of my favorite things to do right now. I take a matte liquid lipstick and not even necessarily a Jeffree Star Velour liquid lip. Any liquid lip that I own or really any lipstick and I just kind of just gently graze this over the top to give me like that gold reflect and it just adds just a beautiful kind of like juicy reflectiveness to the lips without making it too heavy. Sometimes I like to put a gloss over a liquid lip, but it can get really sticky and gloopy and I feel like things are just moving around too much. But with something like this, you can still kind of get away with adding a bit of shine without making something metallic and just adding a little bit more dimension to it. But oh, that is so pretty. I think sometimes we overlook stuff like this and we kind of like get stuck in one way with makeup, but sometimes thinking out of the box can be very beneficial. I mean, look at this packaging. So cute. I love it. And it's just, it's a staple. I'm absolutely loving it. All right, let's talk about a couple of highlighters. The first one is one of the Supreme Frost. This is in the shade Frozen Peach. When I swatched this and I first got this, I kind of was like, that doesn't really do much. And I'll kind of show you guys. Like it's there and you can kind of see it, but the magic happens when you put this on your cheeks. I do have some on right now, but I'm gonna layer it just to kind of show you guys. Now there is a bit of glitter in this formula, but oh, it just gives you like this juicy, wet, high shine highlight that is just so gorgeous with just very, very tiny hints of micro reflex of glitter. It isn't chunky. It's actually just like the perfect mix. And the highlight that comes from this is like blinding. It's just the oddest thing. When you swatch it, like you can see the highlight, but when you actually put it on the cheeks, it's something unique and very special. And I surprisingly ended up loving this formula. That formula, do not sleep on it if you like just a little bit of glitter to your highlight. You want something blinding that doesn't exaggerate texture or pores and will last a long time on the skin. You will absolutely love this formula. It is gorgeous. One more highlight to talk about. Another one that is a unique shade that I kind of was like, I'm never going to use that. This is one of the Skin Frost. This is in the shade Lavender Snow. Another one that I got in a mystery box. Now, at first glance, this is straight up 
purple, like a very cool silvery purple tone. But again, don't judge a book by its cover. I'm gonna show you guys this on the skin as well. It is, it is so pretty. Boom. It doesn't even look purpley on the skin. It's just like this gorgeous silvery highlight. It might have like a hint of purple in the light, but my goodness, it is beautiful. I am obsessed with this. I have been reaching for this recently more and more. I love the huge size of the compact. I love the giant mirror, but my God, dude, Jeffrey does the damn thing when it comes to highlights. Like he really truly does. His highlight formula is spectacular. I just have a couple more products to touch on here, two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Blood Sugar Palette. From the packaging to Jeffrey's eyeshadow formula, it is just it's the freaking bomb. It is so good. The collection of shades in here are spot on. I am a huge sucker for maroon and red shadows. Love these, but there is something about Jeffrey's matte formula, especially his metallics, and I'll show you. Let's go ahead and swatch Cherry Soda. Just like the pigmentation that is like the reddest red. Like I am barely pressing my finger down. That, that my friends, is a matte shadow. Gorgeous. Let's take Root Canal. Like, look at that. This one right here. So pretty. Just like the pigmentation, his formula, the smoothness of these matte shades are just absolutely incredible. And let me show you Candy Floss. This is a metallic shade. So good, so good. I don't know what it is. There's just something about the formula. That combination of packaging and formula coming together, inspiration, collection of shades is just so good. It is genius, I do have to say that. Last but not least, this is arguably probably my second all time overall all-time favorite Jeffree Star product. This is the Jawbreaker palette. For me, this is just extremely nostalgic. When I was a kid, I loved Jawbreakers. My mom loved them when she was a kid, and it was kind of one of those things that we kind of shared together, I was going to the candy store in the Mall of America, and every time we would go there, my mom would let me get one of those giant, huge, white, speckled Jawbreakers, and I loved them. I would literally lick on that thing until my tongue was completely raw, and I would put it in a plastic bag, and my mom was trying trusting enough to let me take a hammer to the Jawbreaker and break it up in a million pieces so that I could finish it. But yeah, Jawbreakers are something special to me. Packaging A+, but the true star of the show, obviously, is the eyeshadows on the inside of this. This is my favorite bright palette. Nothing beats this because, oddly enough, some of you might look at this and think, oh, it's just kind of bright. It's too out there. But these shades, you can make them very wearable. Um, I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I was like, this morning, and I was like, I could do a candy corn look with this. So I am going to bring that tutorial to you guys because there is the perfect colors in here to do a straight up candy corn eye look. So I'm really excited for that. This palette out of this world. So let me swatch for you a couple of shades out of this. This is the shade Suck. Seriously? Seriously. Look at that. That is like velvet. Let's do another one. Do the shade Sour. It's just like the pigmentation of these. Let me do a couple metallics. Lemon Drop. This is one of my favorite metallics to swatch. It's like true bright yellow. If you love yellow shadows, damn. In fact, these would make a pretty cool look together. Inspiration underway. All right, let's do one more shade. Let's do Cotton Candy. Like, are you joking me? These are so soft and the color payoff out of this world, you guys. This is just a fantastic palette. So there you guys have it. Those are my top favorite Jeffree Star Cosmetics items. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorites are. And let's talk about the series. What do you guys think about the information? What do you think about the process? Just let me know your overall thoughts of this collaboration between Jeffree and Shane. Me personally, I cannot wait to get my hands on that palette. I think it's going to sell out in record time. It's going to be crazy so I hope that I am lucky enough to get my hands on one of those when it does launch do you want the palette as well just sound off let's keep it friendly though give me your opinions in the comments and obviously like I said let me know what some of your all-time favorite Jeffree Star Cosmetics products are and are there some that you would like to try that you haven't gotten your hands on quite yet if you enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up like it share it and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go I love you guys so so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys!